let's discuss about angular unit testing but before going ahead why uh, we will use the angular testing first you need to understand so see if you will use the unit testing then it means you are ensuring that your part of the application or maybe any any unit of the application is working absolutely fine so whenever there will be any side effect or any changes will be happen then uh, you will able to uh, catch that one because you are using the unit test so unit test the case will get failed and in this way you will understand that previous design was working absolutely fine and if you will make any changes there then uh, it will get failed so if you are uh, very confident that you are making changes it's right so in that case you also need to uh, make certain changes into uh, unit testing but again uh, writing the unit test case again uh, there is very uh, lots of cost of time okay there is lots of uh, time is required to writing a unit test case so why you are writing so see if the application becomes bigger and if there will be any bug happen because new feature is introduced in your projects and because of the new feature you make many changes so what will happen previous design uh, may be uh, like not work as expected because uh, you make certain changes so if there will be a unit a test then you can ensure and you will able to catch that bug okay during the unit test case so fixing uh, bugs is not easy means it is uh, again it will take more time and it it will be uh, like previous code will stop working maybe a new feature you uh, introduce in your projects and you are developing new feature it will work fine but the other feature can stop working because you make certain changes in the previous design or previous code so the unit test case here will save your time so basically the time you will spend to fixing the bug is definitely a less than uh, writing a unit test case okay so a better approach for the big enterprise application to write a unit test case so that if anything uh, any uh, like any effect will be happen then you will able to catch that one so basically you are ensuring that previous design previous code is working absolutely fine and you are not going to make any changes in the previous code if you want to make any changes then if you are very confident then only you do and also you need to make the changes in unit test case so that unit test case should be passed okay so basically unit test case will provide you more confident on your work now let's move to the angular testing how we will implement the angular unit testing so see in angular there is a karma and jasmine so karma is basically a test runner tool and jasmine is a framework with with that you can uh, you can write a test case so let's try to understand what is the karma okay so if you will go to uh, angular.json file this is the basic configuration of your angular application and if you will scroll down a bit you will find a test okay test section so you are saying that main file of the unit testing is test.ts test.ts uh, it is very similar to uh, like uh, angular application like you can notice here the main angular application file is main.ts from here everything is bootstrap similarly for the test test.ts is a main file okay now but here is a karma suppose you have written a test case using uh, like jasmine jasmine is the framework for writing a test case but you want if you want to execute that test case then you you need a karma karma is a test runner tool that test case will run so that you can check uh, the uh, like oh, that report so there are certain configuration in karma you have to do to make sure to run a test case so the main configuration file of the karma is karma.config.js this is the uh, main file so let's go to the karma.config.js so this is the karma.config.js so now try to understand what is uh, written there and what the configuration you can do here so here you can notice that framework 
which you are going to use is a jasmine jasmine is again uh, used to write a test case and some of the plugin some of the plugin you can see karma jasmine karma chrome launcher karma jasmine html reporter karma uh, coverage something like that so basically this plugin are required like you are running you want to run your test case in chrome browser so uh, their plugin is required to run it so their configuration is basically done but make sure for the uh, like plugin by default it is there in this way if you will go to the package or json then you will find that all the dependency is there like karma jasmine karma, karma jasmine html reporter karma coverage karma chrome launcher so all our package is already there now you are using that package for uh, your angular test case so basically this plugin you need to uh, uh, add it or use it here so that uh, you will you will able to run your test case now some of the important file like here you can notice uh, coverage report so if you want to generate a code coverage uh, i think i will talk about later on about the code coverage then you can uh, generate a report and uh, that report will be generated whatever uh, path you will provide here so you can notice there is a coverage folder and then angular testing folder so it will uh, like this directory will get created coverage and angular testing this is basically a project name in that a uh, project name uh, there will be a report of uh, code coverage okay so their configuration is basically done in this part and another one is the port like if you will run the angular test uh, test case then in certain port the angular test will run and the browser what browser you want to use this is the chrome in the chrome browser your test case will run on the port number 9876 however you want to change the port then you can change it here there is uh, another uh, very important property which is the auto auto watch uh, watch 2 so it means that if you will make any changes in your test case then it will detect their changes and it will automatically run into the browser like uh, here you are your test will be opened uh, a test will run in the chrome browser so you will able to visualize that part as well and there uh, that changes will also get reflect because you have provided the auto watch through this property so for better clarification rate uh, let's write a ng test so that you will get an idea how the thing will be happen so if i will run the ng test then it will uh, let's see it will take some time so you can notice that test case is running there is a browser open chrome browser is open and port number you can notice this port number basically you have provided in uh, karma config js so same port is open and uh, your test case test report will be generated here so right now you can see there are some error like two is fake and one two is fake one failure uh, randomized with seed something like that okay so i will talk about these things uh, later on so for now you got you get an idea that how test case will uh, run so you will get the uh, all the report okay so whenever you will uh, maybe create a component using the cli command then you will notice you will you notice that whenever you will generate any component or anything maybe uh, services then you will find uh, you will be finding one file which is the spec.ts file so basically in spec.ts file some of the code will be written here so this code is basic skeleton and basic example for writing a unit test case and this will help you to write a, a unit test case okay so you will find the file like this whenever uh, you will generate a code using the cli so this is the basic file so you can make uh, the changes here and you can add your testing so it seems very complex uh, for, for now if you are a new and you have not written any unit test case then uh, definitely it will confuse you so i will try to explain each of these things don't worry okay so for now you got an idea that how the test case will run
now now let's talk about the code coverage uh, so if you will notice in the karma config.ds there is the code coverage and uh, the path path is provided and that report will get generated there so how you can run the test case uh, or like how you will generate a code coverage so see let's see so, so you have to uh, write uh, one a cli command for generating a uh, code coverage code coverage is nothing but it's provide one information that which and what a part is covered for the unit testing suppose there is a component and some part you have for the some unit unit is mean it means what for some maybe you can say uh, some code some section that not covered in the unit testing so that report will get generated and in this way you can ensure that some part of uh, some part of our application doesn't have a unit testing so you can make the changes there okay so for generating a code coverage there is one command which is the ng test and then there is one flag which is hyphen hyphen code coverage once you will run this command then you will notice there will one file will get generated here which is the coverage now there is a some spelling mistake let's let's write it once again c o v e r a g let's run once again now you can notice that code coverage will be generated it is generating there will be one file so let's see you can notice there is one folder generated this is a code a, a coverage summary so you can notice there is a function okay i will talk about these things later on but for now you can see that uh, the code uh, coverage report is generated here which is the coverage angular testing and if you will run this html file then you will find all of this report so all of, all the report like which part is covered you will get it here okay this is the coverage report again for their configuration you you can do here in the coverage report section another thing is that uh, for the browser if you want to use any other browser then uh, you can configure you can install the any other browser as well it's fine by default it's chrome but if you want to add uh, any other then you can also do that now let's move to uh, the test.ts file in src you will find there is uh, one file which is a test.ts and this test uh, this is for the main testing file from here all the spec file will start uh, running for the test case so let's what the configuration is there in uh, test.ts so this is the basically main entry point for all of your testing file so you have to remember you can notice that uh, this is a test bed test bed is very powerful unit testing tool provided by the angular and their initialization done in this particular file in the test.ts so there is a comment uh, you can see initialize the angular testing environment now finally karma will load all the testing file uh, which is you can see which is having the spec.ts so all the spec.ts file will get loaded and uh, that will be uh, run using the unit uh, again uh, uh, karma which is a test uh, like test runner tool so all of this uh, unit test case will be run in the, in the through the karma uh, test runner tool so uh, they will manage all the spec.ts file they will find out from here so i hope you understand about that uh, this karma and little bit about how uh, we can run the test case in our angular application in the next video we will discuss about the jasmine which is the main framework for writing a angular test case so thank you very much